our people say, I'll get on my knees and pray. I'm going to sing until my Jesus comes again. Amen. I just, I like doing things for people. I like uh, seeing people smile and, and making them happy. Well, I first become a Mason through a buddy of mine. His dad taught me. And that was back in like 90, 89, 90, 91, somewhere around in there. And why I did it, I still question myself on that one. It was a good choice. Well, what was really cool about this project was there was a lot of people involved in it. Um, you know, just different backgrounds. And it was just a really cool process to see um, different hands come together for the same project. Um, how we went from just this grassy area to now this great, beautiful structure. And um, we had some challenges along the way and it was an 18 month process to get here. And it was kind of a long journey, but it was a good journey. There's a lot of different pieces that were put in. Um, it's cool to see the uh, coyote stone on the top and the cross on the back. That was really cool to be a part of and to add a, a little bit more than just a brick oven that uh, this is a godly place so we put something with God in it. I was the laborer so a lot of the joints I had the cement and I mixed it and then I would put it where the mason could reach it, and then I'd get him any bricks and any tools he needed. Uh, there's a lot of things that Frank, our site manager, also did. He did a lot of the cutting of the brick, which sped up the process for the mason and I. Uh, without his work, we couldn't have finished things as fast. Everything you see is basically, you know, on a, on a fly by the seat of your pants. There was no blueprints other than the width of the fireplace, the height of the fireplace, and the width of the dome of the pizza oven. Other than that, everything has just been as we go along. It, it took Lee two or three attempts to, to figure out how he would finish off the top of the oven. He also got the opinion of Tracy Shea, who's our ceramic artist in residence. And they came up with this design that's a cross with a kind of a sunburst behind it. I think it's a great way to finish off the oven. This fireplace and outdoor oven is really going to be a great environment and entertaining place for retreat groups year-round can come here and they can have fires, um, gather around in the evenings. We always say at camp that uh, fire brings groups closer together. That's why we have a lot of uh, fire sites that we can have um, cookouts or campfires at. So this is just one closer to Asbury Lodge that uh, groups can gather around. Even in our summer programs, we're going to be able to use this, the oven and the fireplace um, for some of our events and camps. Uh, we have a Pizza Mania week. Uh, I think it's going to it'll be a added plus for the ministry here. Uh, I think that for kids to be able to make pizzas as much as they eat them, that'll be a good idea. There aren't a whole lot of people that have used a pizza oven, uh, and groups can be a part of the process of making the dough handmade and then putting it into the pizza oven and then seeing the finished product. So that'll be really cool to have people see the start to the finish of pizza. What's really cool is when we run into uh, people from all over who, who have a ties or connections to this place. And that's really great because it means that you know this this place uh, had an impact or was part of their lives at some point, whether it was a little part or a larger part. What's really cool is a lot of people, when they have a chance to give back to this place, um, they're excited to do that, or they're excited to um, strengthen that connection or help this place grow. I remember going right over there uh, for quiet time. Uh, that was a big deal for. Uh, for the campers to you know to find a place just to be alone with God and I remember you know that being my spot. You could really tell that um, he enjoyed working on this project especially since he has a connection to camp uh, being a, a former camper here on a retreat 
when he was younger and he really did uh, put a lot of unique character into this oven and he put a lot of uh, effort and passion into it because he cared about this project and you could see that uh, with his craftsmanship. Feels good. Feels real good. I mean, you know, of course you look at it as a job first, but then once you get started it no longer becomes a job, but it becomes part of like a family tradition or a family expedition. A lot of the groups that were here when we were building it, it took a couple weeks. So a lot of the groups were saying, oh, I can't wait to see it next year and come back and use it. So it was really exciting before it was even done that people were really excited to use it. And uh, I'm sure they're telling their friends and it's something for them to look forward to.